call the Finance Committee to order. Do we have anyone that would like to address the committee? I've tried numerous times to get documents this morning, and I did finally get some about this meeting. And about 2.45, I received your scores that you had already submitted, and they were tallied. And we all know that Mr. LaBelle has, what, 765 points, and CBRE 600 and... So it was 20 or 30, I can't read it. But one of the most interesting things is, if you'll remember back in February, or excuse me, March, you actually voted to give it to Mr. LaBelle without doing an RFQ. And it may have been February, but now we're here. You did your little thing that looked like you were opening it up. You have one other proposal, CBRE, and I'm just going to ask flat out, Mr. Board, why did you give CBRE two zeros? Because I had had personal experience with one of the two real estate agents, and it wasn't a favorable experience. Okay. It must have been pretty bad. It dealt with a building that I rented in, that, in Knoxville. Mm -hmm. It was. Do you feel maybe you should have not scored them at all? I don't know why that would matter. I'm just asking, just the fact that you had your personal experience and that bled over into what you scored them on for the county. I, don't, I think that's relative to what the transaction would be here. Okay. I know I base a lot of my decisions off of past experience. Do you do the same? Like you did with Mr. Wright, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it just stuck out like an unbelievable sore thumb when people who have not had any, as you say, negative experience didn't come anywhere near a zero in any category for either submittal. Then we have Mr. Reed absent. I mean, did everybody not get an opportunity? Did it, could he not fill out a form? Or did he just choose? How can you be absent? Sure, I, I think he's a crossbow. He's not in town. Yeah. When did these go out? Monday? Thursday. Thursday. Not on Monday. Oh, I can see if they went out on a Thursday and you've got to get them back. When were they due? Monday mm -hmm. at 5. Maybe we have another. The only good thing that has come out of this is you do need to open things up and then you need to be fair to people. You're, you're going to end up, as you have in so many things, with nobody will submit proposals. They know it's a done deal. I knew this was a done deal when five of you voted for LaBelle, even though there had been no RFQ the first go-around. This was just a process to look like you were open. And until you truly open up, you're just going to get fewer and fewer proposals. Thank you. Chairman, can I ask a question? No, do you have a uh, Personal problem with Paul LaBelle, if we need to know or anything, because uh, you could point by him for five years. Oh, well, I'm sure he would years. love to tell you the story. So that's a personal issue right there, then. correct? It's not related to this, to, to a proposal of this. It was related to a city Chairman DeBorce, MUS event. Chairman DeBorce, that's the same issue then. So. But he's getting to vote on LaBelle. I don't get to vote on LaBelle. You talk bad about him. I didn't say anything bad. I said it was a done deal. I'm talking bad about you all. This is a done deal. And you're about the most done deal of them all. Almost. Do we have anyone else who would like to address the committee? 
Good evening, guys. Uh, Chris Black, 7335 at Wingstar, Talbot. This will be very brief, but I think it kind of will show what might be the problem here. Um, you know, Mr. Bell, he's a good guy. I've known him for years. I haven't talked to him in about a decade since I went to school, but uh, he's a good guy. And he's been very successful in this community as a real estate agent or um, property manager, whatever that may be. The problem that people are having here in Hamlin County with this particular deal from the folks I've talked to just comes from the fact that it kind of doesn't look all that great when, you know, as Ms. Noy said, and I actually spoke at that meeting as well, you guys were ready to give him the contract to begin with. Thankfully, you've decided to open it up. That's great. But he used to serve on this commission, he used to serve on the Morris County City Council as well. Again, admirable public service. In most instances, there are areas in which I disagree with, but that's normal. Um, but the problem here is how many of you guys on this commission actually served with Mr. LaBelle when he was on the commission? That's the first issue. It kind of looks like there might be some kind of interplay here. I'm not saying there is, but it might raise the question that there could be, okay, within the community. Beyond that, folks here in Hamlin County just don't have a very good taste in their mouth when it comes to how you guys oftentimes handle these contracts. Y'all are ready to go and y'all would have went ahead had it not been for folks like Ms. Noy and folks in the co-ad group, um, folks like me, coming out and saying y'all might want to open this up for an RFQ. Um, so again, you know, there is the illusion of possible impropriety. I'm not saying there is any, but possible. Um, and that's why folks have this issue. So I do think there's a problem when um, Chairman Board, when you're giving folks zeros on a questionnaire, I know I've had some negative experiences with folks too. Heck, even with that uh, little survey that's being put out by Hamlin County Government, I've rated Hamlin County Government awful on a number of things, and y'all know what I have, just because I'm ticked off. But we can give people low scores all day long, but I just don't think that a score of zero on a survey like this looks very good. And it kind of looks like you were just so ticked off when you did the survey of whoever was at CDRE that you just didn't want to score them at all. So that's the problem that people are having. I thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity of letting me speak. And I uh, hope y'all make a good decision here tonight. And um, y'all know that I'm not ready to shut up yet. Y'all hear more from me at the next county commission meeting. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to address the committee? All right, the uh, first in recurring business, we have none. In old business, we have none. And then in new business, Mayor Britton, um, can you tell us about the real estate RFQ? Sure, at, at the request of the commission, <clears throat> the finance department issued an RFQ for real estate services. And this is specifically for uh, finding a location for a new health department and uh, having the opportunity for uh, the state to pay for uh, the bulk of a, of a new health department building. We did receive two um, uh, uh, responses from the RFQ, uh, CBRE's office in, in Knoxville and, and uh, LaBelle Commercial Realty. So those are the, the two uh, proposals that you received the information from and um, both have representatives here uh, to make presentations. We've uh, allotted them 15 minutes before you guys to, to present their credentials and their qualifications, and, and uh, they're prepared to do that. Thank you. Mr. Brian Tapp is with CDRE. I'd like to request you to speak to the RFQ. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, uh, hello, I'm Brian Tapp with CDRE. Uh, thank you all for inviting me to come talk today. Unfortunately, John Adams is out sick today, uh, but he wishes he could be here. I'll quickly go over a snapshot of CBRE, our team, and our public institutions and education solutions practice. Uh, and lastly, we'll cover our acquisition services and how we can help you guys. Uh, as you may or may not know, CBRE is the largest commercial real estate firm in the world. We are number one in the global market position in leasing property sales, property management, occupier house receiving evaluation. We have over 105,000 employees, 90 of the Fortune 100 client, Fortune 100 clients, and we 
we are ourselves a Fortune 122 firm. Uh, so how does this benefit Hamlin County? Uh, you get the best of both worlds with the resources and the reach and scale of a large firm combined with the local market knowledge of the East Tennessee team. Uh, bigger is not always better, but in this case, the county has both benefits of the local presence and global resources. Uh, for Knoxville and East Tennessee, uh, CBRE has closed $11.4 million in transactions in the Hamlin County area in 2021, and we've done $3 billion statewide. Uh, the local team is comprised of me and John Adams. Uh, I'm from Knoxville, born in East Tennessee, uh, University of Tennessee graduate. I worked in Washington, D.C. for four years. Uh, and part of that gig was with Congressman Van Hillary in uh, Hamlin County was in our district when I was there. Uh, I moved back home in 2004 and 2005 and it got the commercial sale at that time. Uh, during my time with, uh, I've worked with clients like Ruby Tuesday, Real Entertainment Group and others. Uh, we handled acquisition services nationally for Ruby Tuesday's project called Line Fresh Mexican Grill and we managed brokers in states east of the Mississippi River. Uh, on the public side, uh, we are currently representing the city of Maryville on the disposition of an 84 acre site. Uh, we recently sold most, uh, sold most of the property to Amazon for a last mile facility. Uh, I'm a CCM designee and I'm also an SIOR member. I, and I'm specialized in industrial. And if you don't know, uh, SIOR is the Society of Industrial and Office Realtors, and we represent the world's elite in industrial and office real estate. The SIOR designation signifies the highest standards among industrial and office professionals. Uh, why is this important to you? Uh, CCIMs and SIOR stay at the forefront of innovation in commercial real estate and education, access to exclusive resources and knowledge from real life experiences shared between them. Uh, John Adams, my partner, is born in East Tennessee. He's also a University of Tennessee graduate, CCIM designee, and SIOR member as well. And he's an office specialist. Uh, other team members that we would have that we focus on this project is Steve Kalinske, who's our managing director in Nashville. And he'll make sure that we have all the necessary, the necessary resources to help the county. And then we also have Lee Ann Korst, and she runs CBRE's Southeast Region Government Practice. And she's the former director of real estate for the state of Florida. And what she brings to the table is best practices for her peers. In addition, uh, CBRE uh, runs the real estate acquisition process for the state of Tennessee for Middle and West Tennessee. And we've also done work for TVA and currently work for the city of Chattanooga and uh, Davis County. Uh, to talk a little bit more about uh, the public sector group, you know, one of the benefits of, these, of this large company is that we've got specialty areas for everything. Uh, if you want to sell an RV park, we've got somebody for that. If you want to sell a marina, we've got somebody for that. If you want to uh, do occupier services for industrial, we do that. And we also have this group for uh, the public sector. Uh, and, and they'll be an integral, integral part of our team. Uh, and the, the public uh, institution Education service solutions practice. They understand public records. They understand public procurement and their all the requirements. Uh, and they have worked all over the country representing clients, acquiring sites for fire stations, police departments, headquarters, state highway patrols, you name it. Uh, and to talk a little bit more about you guys and, and kind of our process is, you know, the growth in Hamlin County has been amazing, and it, you, you have to have more provide more citizen services. Uh, we will work with the county to address your needs and help establish your financial, operation, operational, and qualitative criteria before engaging the market. Uh, some kind of things we'll ask about is, you know, you know, what are you looking for? You know, why do you want to acquire this? You know, what are the county's long-term needs? Where do you want to be? What's your budget? That kind of thing. And we've got a whole process for that, which we, I think we'll definitely discuss in our proposal. Uh, we will survey both on and off market opportunities based on the county's needs. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's a sign on it. If you want us to go find it, we'll go find it. Uh, we've done that kind of work for many uh, multinational companies uh, throughout the region, and we will help, help you with that too. Uh, another piece of what we will do is complete market studies. If we need brokers' opinions of value to give you a high level idea of what the property's worth, we can do that. Uh, strategize options and bring information so the county can make an informed decision. And we'll also
also helps help assist with the due diligence process. And through all of this, we'll help uh, make sure that you're negotiating better business terms and that those terms are reflected in the legal documents. We've also got a more complete breakdown on section uh, or page 41 of the proposal. I, again, thank you for inviting us to come talk today about CBRE, our team, and how we can do. And if y'all have any questions, I'm looking at it right here. Is both of those that you deal with is industrial? Yes, I do industrial and office. And John does office, but we also represent some folks in retail as well. What what gives you to say to somebody here in Hemingway County that you have a local knowledge? What local knowledge do you have here? Sure. Uh, so we we've worked in and off and on in Hemingway County over the years. Uh, there's probably going to be Paul's definitely going to know Hemingway County ins and outs of where stuff's hidden better than we will. But that doesn't mean we're not going to have the resources to find out. So you, you are familiar with Hamlin County? Sure. I mean, what well, you said over the years. So particularly last year you said there was $11.2 million in transactions. How many transactions total was that 11 point? How many total transactions? I've it's, got no idea. That, that is from our national I mean, that could just be one transaction in that. I, I, I don't really know, but if yeah. you're doing industrial, that could have been one transaction. Sure, I can get back to you on that. Okay, well, that's fine. So on your your sample contract mm -hmm. that you provided, do you have a, a commission structure rate that you present, or how does that work? So typically, we would get paid by the seller, and if it's listed, you know, typically we split 50-50 with whoever the seller's offering or however they're cooperating. Uh, but y'all have not asked us to address that in the... No, I, I was, I'm asking... Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. It wasn't, it wasn't part of the RFQ. I got yeah. you. But, uh, um, and you had any previous issues for the other clients? No. Well, one uh, was mentioned here, but... I don't know, Mr. Board. I'm not going to say my name. I guess. So you, you're, you are the lead consultant for CBRE, and you would be the lead guy for our county, correct? Yes, sir. And you're located in Knoxville? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Anything else? So you're saying that you will charge the seller of the property for all these extra services that you're going to provide to us for instructions on what the properties are worth and everything else? or So there won't be any charge to Hamlin County other than the price of the property? Yeah, just making sure. I do have one other. In your RFQ, you stated the properties in Florida. Mm -hmm. Did you have any intimate knowledge of those purchases, or were you involved in those, or you just handled it? Leanne was. She's on our high team, yes. I got you. So, yeah. I mean, y'all are a huge company, obviously, and you had a good presentation. I just, just wondered how that worked. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.
any issues that you've had dealing with the camera? Any, anything that you are blatant, something that you need to point out or anything like no, that? No, I mean, our dealing with the mayor have been, I mean, he can speak for that. I mean, we've had no uh, rubs or anything. I mean, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Yes, sir. Mr. Bell, my question, I'll pose the same question that I did Mr. Tapp. Are your fee structures set up the same way, that everything will go towards the seller and not towards the county? Well, you know, we, we've had issues with municipalities before. Uh, there's been some ins instances, that we, as you see from my resume, we represent a lot of government groups. Uh, our fee structures, typically that is how it's done. I agree with Brian on that. Uh, but there has been this episodes where to avoid eminent domain, we, we've uh, had to structure things a little bit different where the government entity has had to pay us uh, our fee. And our fees are outlined in our contracts, uh, you know, that we negotiate with the government entities. But 99% of the time, that would be an accurate statement. Thank you, sir. I like what's been told in the past to us, and that's to shop local. And here we are, we're shopping local. And of course, you said, well, I was going to ask that you pay your taxes of them. Correct. So, you know, that, uh, to me, I think that's a, that's a plus right there. Shop local. Then don't bother with your RFQs. Good point. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay, we've had the um, Real Estate Agent Services 2022 evaluation tabulation. Those numbers have come back with CBRE at 630 and the LaBelle Commercial Realty at 765. And I would like to know if uh, anyone has any additional comments or if we are prepared to go ahead and take a vote on the recommendation. So we will go ahead and um, do a tally of our vote, and we'll vote this one verbally. Okay, the motion is to determine um, who is going to be our real estate agent for 2022. Mr. Chairman, I'll make that motion that, uh, that we uh, vote on one of the two that are before us for our real estate needs. I'll say We've got a motion and a second. Do we have any further discussion? Randy DeBoard. Uh, Paul LaBelle. Chris Tetshaw. LaBelle. Howard Shipley. LaBelle. Aline Arlon. LaBelle. Thomas Doty. LaBelle. Tim Goings. LaBelle. Joe Huntsman? LaBelle. Jim Stepp? LaBelle. Eight, yes, one absent. Motion passes. Any uh, further questions? One, just one comment is, is with the now, this will be a recommendation to the commission, which will be on the 21st. And um, Monday, I'll get with with uh, uh, LaBelle Commercial Realty and get a, a contract ready to present Monday. <coughs> so, to meet the 10-day rule, then you'll have it on the 21st to vote for that. So. If there is nothing else, we're adjourned.